Hey, what's all this Parks on the Air POTA stuff all about, huh? What, what's all this excitement? Well, you know what? In this video, I'm going to go through everything you need to know to get a basic understanding on POTA and how to activate and mesh uh, ham radio with nature, getting out in the state parks or the wildlife refuges and picking a POTA site and activate and make the hunters happy. So stay tuned. Hey, good morning, YouTube. David Holmgren, K9AT, and I am uh, doing an activation for Parks on the Air. And I am at Bigfoot Beach State Park, and that is in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. And uh, this is a great park, um, and uh, I'm uh, at Site 42, and uh, uh, they've got uh, several electric sites, but it's not a big state park, but it's really, really a pretty state park. So I highly recommend it. And uh, come on down and uh, do your activation here. So I'm going to uh, give you a little orientation on the uh, campsite. The uh, site I'm at is uh, 42E and the uh, E is standing for electric. Um, <laughs> uh, I've tried uh, doing the off-grid, uh, but um, I guess I'm spoiled. So I need electric. So the uh, site is uh, fairly deep. And here's uh, my camper and truck and the picnic table that I'm going to set my uh, uh, eventually uh, loop antenna and then my uh, QRP. 705 but so here's the chameleon f loop and uh it's got a second coax loop that can be added but i'm not going to be working uh 80 meters at this time so anyways uh this is what it looks like and this is my f or um ic 705 and uh this is a custom um, base that i built that's the uh tripod from uh, my grandfather's uh, tripod uh, uh, which was a, a Leica mount and uh, so I took the top off and cut a piece of uh, bar stock and I uh, spray painted the uh, 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 with that uh, textured paint and there's my key that's my adventure uh, traveler key uh, by Bigali so um, anyways it's a, a nice uh, setup and here's my battery box. This is a battery box that is available from PowerWorks, although I've added a battery gauge. It shows percentage and volts, okay. And then I've also added the light, and this is a by Little Light, L-I-T-E, light. <laughs> and um, so it's a, uh, it's got a, a pretty nice light, and this is for working park parks at night. It, it turns red. So you focus, okay, uh, and at first, so you don't get blasted by the light. But as I turn up the intensity, it gets brighter and brighter. So it, it throws off a lot of light. But you know, we don't need um, a lot of light sometimes. So um, working with uh, uh, just some red lamp like that uh, in the dark hours of the night. It's, it's uh, really advantageous. So, but yeah, this is the uh, PowerWorks battery box with my modifications. Okay, I'm gonna show you how high a Q this F-loop has. So um, this uh, frequency has a gentleman on doing park to park and so if I turn this dial ever so slightly, it will, you will hear him. Okay. Okay. And so uh, that gives you an indication of how uh, high Q 
uh, the coil is. So there's uh, two uh, tuning steps to the uh, F-loop. Uh, one is peaking the uh, receive audio, which, which you hear, and then uh, going on a constant carrier, like AM, and uh, doing a little squirt test here. Um, and uh, looking at the SWR meter and seeing about, see you ever, ever so slightly. Okay, there you go. So that is a perfect match at this frequency uh, for transmit. Okay, so that uh, gives you an idea how you tune an F loop. Five, but for most of my uh, park activations, I use a 100 watt radio, which I will describe uh, later. And uh, so here's my antennas. This is um, my VHF UHF antenna with the Penninger mount. And then I'm using a um, fiberglass whip from Spider Beam. And the Slim Jim is at the top, uh, probably about 30 or so feet. And uh, I made a mod to the uh, Slim Jim. I put a uh, grommet, a rubber grommet in the hole that they uh, punch. And uh, that tends to uh, make the uh, hole last longer with a rubber grommet. So let's see, uh, this is the fire pit I sat at last night and had a nice big fire. Got some sticks left over for tonight. It's my chair and table that folds up. That's where I put my beers. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so this is the uh, my Poda HF antenna setup, and um, so this is the uh, tripod that I showed in my uh, video on the mast uh, building, and um, it's uh, comprised of PVC pipe with uh, landscaping nails uh, anchoring the base, and the uh, upgraded uh, uh, ratchet straps that I added. I had some green ones in the earlier video, but they didn't hold. And uh, those are those are holding. And uh, in the tripod, homebrew tripod, is the Porta Mast by Chameleon. And this is the 25 foot version. And at the top, I have a My Antennas 10 through 40. And uh, it's mounted up at the top. And uh, the coil is in there uh, in the middle. And then the wire stretches over to the tree over here. And you can probably see the insulator. I'm gonna try to try to zoom in as best as I can. Uh, there you go. I, I can show you the insulator. Uh, so the uh, wire ends right there, and then the uh, rope begins right there. And it traverses down this big tree and is held in place by the support that would be used with the chameleon portamast uh, if I was using it to support from under the tire. But in this case, I'm uh, using it to support the uh, guy line. So that's the uh, setup for POTA. And uh, this took, took a while. <laughs> so uh, this is an uh, instant POTA because I know uh, Several of you like to do uh, uh, potas, uh, maybe more than one, possibly up to 10 a day. So this is where I was uh, camping and I've been here for a few days. So I, I, I thought I'd uh, go all out and do the uh, dedicated setup with the uh, pota mast and uh, um, setting up a tripod. So why do I have the ladder here? Well, <laughs> uh, as you can see, the sections collapse way above beyond where I could reach. So this is why I've got uh, uh, a ladder so I can reach the uh, uh, connections, which I uh, detailed in my uh, mast video. Um, and uh, they interlock and so you gotta lift it up and then give it a twist and then it comes down. So anyways, so let's introduce you to the radio in the camper in uh, the next section. Before I go inside, uh, I just want to uh, show 
the connections going into the camper. Uh, normally I would uh, have these coaxes going through the door uh, and, and has, have a crack, uh, which would allow <laughs> mosquitoes and bugs to get in. So I went uh, and converted this uh, connection right here <clears throat> was for cable TV, which I don't use. And, uh, and then, then I had to drill a second hole because uh, for the UHF VHF, because um, uh, I have a shack in the box, which I will describe in a moment. Okay, come on in. This is the uh, vintage uh, Gulfstream, and uh, it's really a really nice camper, but it's especially nice for this radio right there. This is the uh, IC7100, which uh, is a shack in the box, and I'll show you turning it on. And so you're going to say, well, where is the radio at? Well, I'll show you in a minute. So buried beneath these seats is the radio. So this seat comes off like uh, normal campers because uh, this uh, bed, or I mean that this table, converts into a bed by uh, sitting these, uh, this table uh, flat against um, the seat. So this is the uh, boards that come off. To support the uh, seat and hey there's the radio okay so there's the connections going into the uh, camper from the outside and uh, and there is the radio uh, this is the IC 7100 body and uh, and then the power supply which you don't which you can't see um, is a, um, a 12 volt 30 amp power supply that I keep uh, on all the time, and then that way I don't have to turn it on, uh, so I, I can't uh, you know, have to worry about uh, taking apart the uh, seat to get access to it. So what uh, I've also got is, this is the antenna tuner uh, from LG that normally um, I would have to mount on the pole outside, but instead, um, since it doesn't require access, like the normal LG tuners to uh, make it work um, because it uses this box. But I, um, I've got uh, all these items uh, glued down, um, sorry, <laughs> uh, attached with uh, Velcro so I can take them up. Um, but they're secured uh, when uh, I uh, go down the road and transport. And same for the body of the radio and the power supply. And the reason I have it upside down um, is because the rubber feet uh, you know, make a, a gap for air airflow, and then um, uh, that way uh, uh, it would not work with uh, Velcro because <laughs> I, I use the uh, flat surfaces of the uh, top of the uh, components, the uh, uh, power supply and the radio. So yeah, that's uh, that's what I got. And so uh, what happens uh, for me uh, on the surface is this is all I've got exposed. And, uh, and that way, um, happy wife, happy life, <laughs> uh, my uh, radios uh, are inside, but they don't take up the uh, cooking or uh, seating area, or at least that much. Because uh, if I had the power supply and the uh, typical radio, uh, then they would uh, take up a lot of space. So uh, this is a, a workable solution, and uh, I get great reports, um, audio on uh, VHF, UHF, and HF. So this is the uh, website for Wisconsin State Park System. Um, you know, I really love the state parks. Um, I've tried uh, the campgrounds, uh, private campgrounds, and while they have uh, water and sewer, um, I, I basically can get by with just electric. And uh, so this is how you book uh, reservations. Uh, I'm at the uh, Bigfoot Beach State Park, and I'm staying one night. And this is my trailer. And uh, so... This is the map of all the sites, so it's, it's not really terribly a big state park. And I am there with the uh, red circle. The circle things are um, 
sites that have electric, the triangles are uh, non-electric. And so because it's red, it's occupied by me. <laughs> so anyways, uh, this is a great um, site and uh, easy to use. And uh, besides the map, uh, they actually give a list of the parks and um, uh, sites, actually, in the, the details. If you want to look at the actual site, they have uh, pictures. So this is a really a user-friendly site. And then the calendar option takes you to the um, available uh, months and dates. And if it's in pink, then it's uh, not available. And as you can see, I'm, I'm in site 42, there's pink. But uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, hey, maybe I should stay here. <laughs> anyways, no, i got to go home to my wife and kid, uh, Ben. So, uh, anyways, the, uh, the site's uh, great and uh, uh, easy to use, and uh, I encourage you to uh, book your stay at the state park. So there's uh, some static because there's a storm coming in. So uh, I, uh, that's, that's why I've got uh, static on the radio. Uh, otherwise, uh, yesterday when there was uh, good weather, um, the noise floor was uh, uh, actually, actually at zero. So uh, it's spiking because of the noise uh, from the storm that's coming in. Uh, QRZ, QRZ is the frequency in use. QRZ. It's a good thing to check with the frequency. And so now that I've got clearance on the frequency because nobody came back to me, okay, I'm going to use... Um, my favorite, favorite, favorite program for Parks on the Air, and it's uh, Hammers. And so uh, this program is available on iPad for, uh, you know, either iOS for iPad or iPhone. Uh, it's, it's on Mac OS, it's on PC, um, and it's actually on Linux too. <laughs> so this guy does a great job. And so uh, since this was my activation from yesterday, um, this is like 30 contacts I got last night doing the light shift. So I'm going to do a new, uh, create a new park. Um, and uh, so I'm gonna go like that to the, ma the main menu. I didn't show that, so I'll show it in here. Um, clicking up there. And then this is all the logs of the parks that I worked. And I'm gonna go to new log and uh, I'm going to put the name in here while I hold the camera. <laughs> I'm just going to call it just Bigfoot and it's going to be uh, a Parks on the Air and I'm going to save. Okay and so I'm going to do the frequency. Uh, this is uh, one, one's in megahertz and one's in uh, frequency. Uh, kilohertz. So this is one, this one is megahertz. So I'm going to go 14.185. Uh, and I'm running 100 watts with my IC7100. And my park is K14, oops, 1440. And it comes up Bigfoot Beach State Park and Lake Geneva. And so, hey, you're ready to go. So uh, let's uh, let's go back to the Poda page, and I'm going to spot myself. And this is how you uh, how you do parks on the air. In case you're uh, curious, this is uh, the two steps that you need to do: set up the program that logs, and then add a spot. Okay. And this is going to be in kilohertz, so it's going to be one four one eight. Five, and the park number is K1440, and it comes up Bigfoot Beach State Park, and comments, um, I like to be funny about this stuff, P-O-T-A-I-N-G, potting again. <laughs> Anyways, uh, and then you click the uh, spot and then there there I am right there uh, k9at at 1440 it's it's that simple so and then uh, I'll go back to the um, uh, program and then um, and then I'm gonna 
uh, call CQ. Although I'm going to put the uh, camera on the tripod since I have a lot of hands. CQ, 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 uh, parks in the air, uh, parks in the air. This is K9AT, CQ Poda, CQ Poda. Okay, Alpha Delta Ford Juliet X-Ray. Oh, uh, hang on. <laughs> I didn't have the uh, uh, cursor in the field here. Uh, Alpha Delta Ford Juliet X-Ray. And, uh, hey, Ken, uh, you're in Georgia. Okay, 5-5, uh, five, five, and that's also your uh, signal, too. Uh, and uh, thank, thanks for being there for me. I'm, I'm making a video, uh, so I'm going to be putting on this uh, YouTube channel that I have. And uh, so uh, look for uh, my, my YouTube video at K9AT, okay? I'll make a note of it. I'm a YouTube nut. I watch TV. I watch Facebook. I watch Facebook. I watch Facebook. Yeah, there's no good shows on TV to watch anymore, okay? <laughs> so, okay, well, 7-3, uh, and uh, uh, have a great day. 73. Okay, and uh, K9 AT, QRZ. Hello, Charlie 3, Oscar Papa. Okay, uh, the station ending in Papa. Kilo Charlie 3, Oscar Papa. Okay, Kilo Charlie 3, Oscar Papa. Uh, James, and uh, you are in Delaware, and uh, I'm making a YouTube video, so you're going to be on YouTube. Yeah, I just heard that on your uh, previous view, so yeah, I'll definitely check it out. You're 5'9 here. Okay, and you are 5'9 as well, and uh, so I'm demonstrating with uh, Hammers, uh, the program, and uh, I've got a QRZ connection, so uh, that's how I know your name, because uh, I, <laughs> I don't know you from Adam. <laughs> Okay, well, you ha have a great day and uh, have a uh, uh, wonderful time uh, when you're doing the POTA, okay? I appreciate it. 73 from the East Coast. Okay, 73. And uh, K9AT, uh, I thought I heard uh, another QRZ. November 4, Whiskey Yankee Echo. November 4, Yankee something? November 4, Whiskey Yankee Echo. Whiskey Yankee Echo. Okay, uh, let's see. And Lehman, and you're in Georgia? Okay, very good. And you know the uh, uh, just so you know, uh, I'm using the IC seventy one hundred check in the box, and uh, I'm uh, in park uh, K one four four zero, and uh, the um, uh, antenna is a uh, my antennas on top of a uh, let's see a port of mast at twenty five feet with the other end in a very high tree. Uh, QSL. Uh, QSL, very good. Yeah, I'm running a, a, a seventy three hundred icon. And uh, into a, a, a heat kit uh, SB200 linear, a 500 watts, into a, a 40 meter horizontal delta loop, uh, more or less pointed in your direction. So uh, you got a nice sounding signal here. Not any problem at all, uh, David. Go. Okay, well, very good. And th thanks for the flowers. And uh, and you're also a 5'9, so a 73. And uh, I got to get, to get these uh, other people that are waiting, okay? Take care. 73. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. Uh, K9AT, QRZ. Yeah, November 3, Oscar, Juliet, Delta. Let's see, November 3, Oscar, Juliet, Delta. Okay, uh, Larry, and you're in Pennsylvania? Very nice signal into central Pennsylvania. The name here is Larry, and you are 5'9 plus. Okay, and you're also 5'9. Uh, boy, there's a uh, uh, band is really good today, so... Uh, uh, a pleasure meeting your acquaintance, Larry, and 7-3. Uh, 73, good luck. Yep, uh, thanks, and uh, QRZ. Oh, okay, I heard a park-to-park -park there, and uh, let me uh, get that park-to-park. -park. Uh, what's your what's your call sign first? Okay, Kilo Foxtrot 4 Echo. Okay, Victor Echo. Okay, Kilo Foxtrot 4, Victor Echo, and is this Jeff? Oh boy, you, you faded into the uh, abyss. Uh, uh, say your call sign again uh, several times. Yeah, 
Okay, right. I got it. Uh, QSL. So what's your park number? Okay, and you're Jordan Lake uh, in your North Carolina? Okay, and then my park number is K1440, QSL? Okay, 73, uh, QRZ. Okay, Alpha Delta 2, Mike, Mike, uh, Vince, and you're in uh, Brooklyn, New York. Okay, and I've got you uh, uh, not as strong. I'm going to give you 5-2, um, and I'm going to take the 5-5. Five, five. And uh, uh, fortunately, my noise floor is low at the state park, so I can hear you because you're, uh, you're Q5. Uh, Roger, Roger. Thank you for Bigfoot Beach, and uh, you have a great day in 73. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to change your report to 55 because uh, you came up, okay? I'm sorry. The, your, your signal report is 5-5, five, five, 55, New York City. Okay, yeah, and, and yours as uh, well. Uh, I'm going to change it from 52 to 55. So, 73. Uh, K9AT, QRZ. Victor Echo 3, Uniform Zulu X-ray. Victor Echo 3, Uniform... Uh, what was the rest of it? Uh, Victor Echo 3, United Zanzibar X-ray, QSL. Okay, very good. Uh, Victor Echo 3, Uniform Zulu X-ray. Uh, Jim, and you're in Ontario? Okay, and that's your uh, report back to you as well. Um, and uh, so, uh, okay, well, 73. Very good, 73, thanks for your activation. Roger, Roger, uh, K9ET, QRZ. November Charlie 4, Alpha Zulu. November Charlie 4, Alpha Zulu. Roger, Roger, you're 5'9", North Carolina. Okay, yeah, and you're also 5'9", uh, here too, in the park. K1440, and uh, you're doing doing great, Barry. Oh, thank you very much. Thanks for the park. Sandwich Ranger left there. Okay, 7-3. Uh, K9ET, QRZ. Whiskey Alpha 9-something? Oh, uh, boy. Uh, is it Kilo Alpha 9? Or wait, I think it's Whiskey 9, right? Oh, I'm sorry, I can't pull you out. Um, uh, QRZ, uh, K9 ET. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, since I've got through the pileup, I'm going to do the recorded message. And if you look at my display here, it's the um, button here. And I've got it pre-programmed uh, so that this plays uh, this message. So listen carefully here. Parkson here, CQ Poda. This is Kilo 9, Alpha Tango, K9, AT, calling CQ, Parks on the Air. CQ, 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 calling CQ, Parks on the Air. This is Kilo 9, Alpha Tango, calling CQ, Parks on the Air, and standing by for a call. So I do that, that way I don't have to <laughs> um, call a CQ. It's, it's kind of lazy, man. But you know it's uh, it's it's good when the, when the band conditions uh, aren't very very good, right? Like it, you know, I was the, having a rush there, so um, uh, but uh, having the recorded CQ comes in handy. So yeah, I'm going to hit it again because I got two more uh, entries uh, before I get to ten. So once you hit ten, uh, that's a legitimate activation. So uh, I got to get two more calls. Parks in the air, CQ Poda. This is Kilo 9, Alpha Tango, K9, AT, calling CQ, Parks in the air. CQ, 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 calling CQ, Parks in the air. This is Kilo 9, Alpha Tango, calling CQ, Parks in the air, and standing by for a call. Okay, so since I'm not getting anybody, um, I'm going to do a hunt and pounce. So what I'm going to do is go back to the QRZ page, uh, or actually Parks on the Air, 
And I'm going to look through the people that are on 20 meters. And um, let's see here. Uh, that I and, and on on sideband since I uh, and not not FT8 since I'm doing sideband today. Um, let's see here. Oh, let's just try one more. Okay, two station again. Okay, uh, Bill, and you're in Delaware. That's right, that's me. Okay, I'm gonna give you a five three. What's my report? What's my report? Dover, Delaware. So what's my report? Oh, I'm sorry, you're five five fifty five. Okay, I'll put me down. I put myself down for fifty five. Okay, well, thanks, Bill, for the uh, uh, being there for my uh, on, on my activation. I have trouble just writing it down. Forget about using the computer. <laughs> yeah, I know. Thank God for the QRZ and uh, the internet. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm using an iPad Pro uh, with hammers, and uh, and this is uh, going to be a, a video that I'm going to post on my channel. I got a, a K9 AT YouTube channel, so uh, look for it. Okay. Okay, uh, seven three, uh, K nine ET QRZ. Hey, you're back again. Oh, there we go. Uh, uh, do you do you get that? Uh, what I what I said? No, I didn't, I didn't hear you. Okay, I'm I'm uh, making a YouTube video and uh, I'm going to be posting this uh, communication on the uh, U my YouTube channel. Uh, it's K nine AT uh, QSL. What's the call? K nine ET. Uh, Alpha Tango K nine AT Kilo nine Alpha Tango. Yeah, that, that's right. I got a YouTube channel. Uh, search for K9 AT, and then uh, you, you're going to hear the uh, QSO that we're, we're having right now. Yeah, I, I have uh, ham already, but I don't know how to use it. So I'm just using the uh, uh, manual. The manual. Matter of fact, I just came back from the park. Okay, yeah, that's that's the program I'm using too. Hammers. Uh, it's it's great. Because uh, I use I use the uh, iPad and iPhone, and then they've got uh, PC version and then Linux too. So uh, okay, well uh, seven three. Seven three. Okay, uh, QRZ. K nine ET QRZ uh, parks on the air uh, from K one four four zero. Okay, uh, David, and you're a Maryland boy. What nice, strong signal from Mobile. Yeah, I just got finished playing around with the jump of the damn antenna. And I got the FWR down to nothing, and I just wanted to make sure it really was that way. I, I really don't know to our transmit. Yeah, that, that's uh, proof in the pudding, then, so when the tires are meet the road. Or rubber meets the road. Uh, yeah, you're 58 and uh, really sounding good into uh, um, Park uh, K1440. It's uh, Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. So you're making it all the way to Wisconsin. QSL? Yeah, well, what I did was I took a ham stick and took the shield off of the RGA and put it on the ham stick and put it on the ham stick. And I used a Wolf River coil to match all the other bands. Oh, okay. Yeah, the Wolf River coils with the hamsticks. Uh, yeah, was, uh, several guys are running in them uh, out there. Um, I've got a Tar Heel, too, uh, and uh, it works great on my mobile, too. So, well, anyways, uh, what, what's my report uh, to your direction? Do it before, but I'm sure I'm not the first. 
Wow, that's uh, that's a unique idea. Uh, you're going to have to tell the uh, guys at Wolf River Coil that you're using a solenoid. Okay, well, what's my signal report to you? What's my signal report uh, question? I give you like a 7-9. It's hard looking over at this damn thing during the day. During the day, it's hard to tell or see anything on these little... 7-9. That's, that's pretty that's good. It's a pain in the ass to change anything. It really is. I mean, uh, I like my Linko better. They want to have it, but... The switches were right on the front <laughs> to do every damn thing. Okay. Well, uh, you know what? I hate to cut it short, but I'm, I'm doing a, a photo activation and I'm making a video. And uh, so, uh, but anyways, uh, thanks for sharing that. And 7-3. Uh, 7-3, seven, three. Seven, three, God bless. Have a good day. Okay, 7-3. And uh, anyone else? Anyone else out there uh, uh, for POTA? This is a Q, sorry, K9AT, uh, activating park. K1440. Okay, Whiskey 3 America, Victor Papa. Uh, Alexander, and you're in Pennsylvania? Yes, I am. You have a great signal here. 5 9 plus into Pennsylvania. Uh, my lunch break in the car. You sound great. Okay, well, thanks for the flowers. Uh, I'm going to give you a 5 3, and you're uh, uh, de definitely strong uh, for the mobile. So uh, a 7 3, and uh, have a great day. Uh, K9AT, QRZ. Okay, sometimes they get long-winded, <laughs> like the second to the last one. So anyways, now I've got, uh, if you look at my uh, score, uh, I'm, I, I'm got 11, so I've got uh, more uh, activations that are required. So this, is, uh, this uh, transmit session at this park um, is uh, going to count. And so... Um, but anyways, so, you know, just for, for giggles, um, I'm going to try to see if I can work another park uh, just to get my uh, um, activations up. Here, let's see, there's, uh, there's someone at, I don't know if you can read this, uh, 14309. So let's, let's try to get them, okay? Uh, park to park, park to park. Uh, this is a park to park, uh, Kilo 9 Alpha Tango. Uh, I copy uh, N1 NYT November Yankee Tango. Uh, your signal report is 5353, and I'm in park K1440, 1440. QSL? Okay, Roger, Roger, Kate. Uh, I, I got those both, both of the parks. And uh, what's my signal report? Uh, five eight, five eight. Yes, sir. Okay, five eight. Okay. Well, thank you much, and uh, God bless, and uh, have a great, uh, great uh, visit to those parks. You bet. Where is your park? Oh, um, I'm in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. Um, it's a uh, it, by the southeast corner of uh, Wisconsin. Okay, seven three. Okay, so now um, I'm going to save that one. Let me 
make sure you see the screen here. Um, and uh, so now I've got uh, 13 uh, activation. That was a, a one, wonderful uh, contact uh, when I did search in Pounce. And what, what it uh, was is not only park to park, but park to park with two parks. And so that bumped me from uh, 11 to 13. Okay, so now uh, I've uh, qualified for the this activation uh, at this time period. Uh, now there's a late um, uh, shift that starts at 00, zero uh, UTC. So I'm going to get back on the radio, um, which is uh, 6 o'clock my time in the central time zone. And so I'm going to do Parks in the Air from uh, Bigfoot uh, Beach State Park. And, uh, and then that way... Um, I can get uh, another activation. And people like uh, late activations because they're uh, hard to get because the parks usually are closed uh, at uh, uh, sundown and, and unless you're a camper. And in this case, I'm a camper, so I can operate after dark. So uh, so what I do then, now I'm going to show you how easy it is to uh, do the export. Okay. So now this is the list of all the parks that I've been at. Let's get in the frame here. Okay, so this is the Bigfoot uh, that I call. <laughs> it really doesn't matter what what's what it's called here because what I have to do is now export right there. I got the cursor over. Let's make sure you can see this. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna hit the little wheel. Okay. Oh wait, hold on. I got I got to fix. This is the <laughs> this is a good example of edit because I got. Uh, I made a mistake here, as I as I'll show you. Um, the the uh, the first one, this guy right here. Um, I got to edit it because I had the call part of the park. Okay, so I need to correct that. So this is how you you edit it, and then you go down to save right here. Make sure you see that. And let me see, I think that was the only one that I did that on. Uh, oh, no, there's another one right there. And save. Because otherwise these were, would show up as errors. And, oh, hang on, let's see. Uh, let's see, edit this one. Uh, yep, I, I fixed it right there, okay. And how about the, make sure to edit. Yeah, okay, okay. So, um, okay, so now this is correct. So what you want to do, before you uh, export it uh, as, a, as an ADI a file, you want to make sure all the check marks are green. And if, a, if there's a busted call that uh, QRZ um, doesn't have in the database, it would kind of show up um, uh, with, without that green check mark. And so we've got all the green check marks on all the 13 contacts, and the park numbers are listed here. And uh, those, the single contact, that N1, NYT, uh, is listed as two line items because it was two parks. Okay, so now let's go back to the main menu. I'm, I'm up here. I don't know if it shows up there. Okay. And, uh, well, actually, you know what I should do, since this is a touch screen, <laughs> instead of using the mouse. Um, so what I'm going to do is export right there as an ADI right there. Okay. And I'm going to go to Files. I'm going to save it, since this is a folder. Okay. So um, now it's, it's in there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this program, and I'm going to go into my Files. I want to long press it, okay, and then it, then it comes up with a option to rename, rename, okay, okay, and then this is the nomenclature you have to follow to the letter, okay, so the first thing, it, if I'm going to follow this example below, uh, so I've got to type my call, K9AT, and then the at sign, K dash one four four zero, and then I put another dash, and it's twenty twenty three, and today's date is uh, zero 
nine twenty one. Okay, and so now that's going to be renamed. So I just got to remember that file name, and the reason why is because I'm going to upload it right from the uh, iPad to the Poda site. Okay, so there it is. Go to Poda. Okay, parks on the air, and and then I'm going to look for uh, my log uploads right there. Okay. And then um, the paper, clip the paper clip, and then choose from files. And this is the file folder on the iPad. Okay. And uh, I'm going to look for, uh, let's see here. Poda, okay. Let's see, they're in numerical order. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this this is the file. So I hit that circle button to activate that account, okay. And then I click open, okay. And then it goes right there, Bigfoot Beach State Park, okay. And then I needed to hit those two check boxes. And then upload file for validation. And I'm done. And wait for the successful uh, upload. And, uh, and also I will see that file in the list right here in uh, well, just a few seconds. Okay, so that uh, completes um, my activation for uh, this Parks on the Air at Bigfoot Beach State Park in Lake Geneva. And uh, so uh, just in review, I uh, uh, gave the tour of the campsite using the uh, Wisconsin Campsite Registry to uh, book the uh, reservation. Um, I went over the uh, antennas that are uh, in the air with the VHF, UHF, and then also my uh, HF antenna that is uh, my antennas, which is a great, great, great NFED. Uh, and it's uh, 10 through 40, and it fits uh, perfectly on uh, most uh, state park lots because it's not too long. It's a 61 foot wire, and uh, so if you throw a wire in the tree, and then um, uh, you know you put a, a mast of some kind, uh, like port a mast, or or even like just a any any type of pole, <laughs> uh, then you can support the box. So, and then uh, I, I came into the camper and I showed you the um, uh, setup on the radio and how I've got the radio installed with the two individual connectors for VHF UHF, and then the second one uh, for the HF. And then, uh, then I did a, a full POTA activation and I've got uh, 13 contacts within an hour. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's usually um, easier than that. Um, but uh, uh, this, this was a, um, a challenge for me uh, because of uh, all the extra uh, effort making the video. But um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you uh, like this video, uh, please like and subscribe. Um, and so this is uh, Dave, K9AT, and uh, 7-3, and uh, as always, keep on poding.